Day two of the Cheltenham Festival. We're going to do then with the champion bumper. Uh, just six runners in this this season, and the top two are both drained by Paul Rhodes, Quozark and South Vietnam. First dance for David Hooley's the red-hot favourite, Loxwood for Darren Thompson, Perugino reluctance for David Robertson and Rustic Persian for Stu Gray. So six of them then to face the starter in the day's opener. And away they go. And David Hooley's first dance straight off into the lead. Cookley leads by a length or two. I'll be hoping to get off to a flyer again today like he did yesterday, taking the first three races that he had a runner in. That was three of the first four. He didn't add to that throughout the day. There were 13 races yesterday and he had plenty of chances, so he didn't quite slip the field in the Ritz Club Charity Trophy to be champion trainer at the festival. With plenty of others getting some good winners yesterday. Three or four trainers getting two winners apiece and a couple of others getting one. So the wins shared out in the end after it looked like it was going to be a bit of a hoodie fest to start the day. And we'll be hoping to start the day off with another winner. And first dance leads past the stand the first time. And they'll swing left-handed now and go out for a full circuit of the track. So first dance in the lead then for David Hooley. Loxwood in second for Darren Thompson who surprisingly didn't hit the winner's circle yesterday. I'm sure he'll make up for that before the end of the week. And on the inside rail in the yellow jacket is South Vietnam for Paul Rhodes. His second horse, Quozark in different colours. The green sleeves with a red body is next to it. He had a winner yesterday in the cross-country chase. He sees him back at the top table at the Cheltenham Festival with a winner. And then on the wide outside, Perugino reluctance for, Dar for David Robertson. Uh, two winners yesterday, two rather surprising winners as well, really, with Batista Barwe taking the second of the real big races on the day. Of course, a bit of an upset. And also his nomadic Bagro taking the novice chase early. So a big price double there for David Robertson yesterday. And the horse at the back, Rustic Persian, trained by Stu Gray. Not got many horses this season but even he had a good day yesterday of sorts with his horse in the Coral Cup barking athletic running for about 30 or 40 pound out of the handicap came through like a train to finish third and would surely have finished much closer if the handicap had been as it was framed by the handicapper but anyway it's first dance in the lead this is day two and we're into the final five furlongs of the champion bumper already and first dancers been in the lead all the way the chasers are within a length and a half really Perugino reluctance in second with on the inside of that one South Vietnam then Loxwood and Quozark Rustic Persian the four year old just finding the pace a bit hot and has dropped away but they're racing down towards the final three and a half furlongs and first dance has led all the way so far still only leads by a length and a half though looks as though Perugino Reluctance is going reasonably well in second. Quozark on the inside hasn't got going yet. Locks Wood and um, South Vietnam looking a little bit one pace, but first dancers now suddenly increase the lead to two or three lengths. And they're all pushing hard behind as they pass the two. And first dance appears to be going the best in the lead. He's just been hurried up to his work by the jockey, but he's still well clear by two to three lengths. And as they swing for home, and there's just over a furlong to go, and first dance is well clear they're not making any impression the chasing pack they're all mostly going up and down but it's first dance who's leading them a merry dance as they go up towards the line for the first race of the day the champion bumper is going to david hurley first dance takes it south vietnam second then perugino reluctance close up Loxwood, and finally rustic persian so more of a procession than a race really that one i don't think first dance was headed at all took it pretty cozily and and David Hooley will hope that's the start to a similar start that he had yesterday. And the first of three. The first dance takes it. For David Hooley, South Vietnam second, Paul Rose. Perugino reluctance, David Robertson third. Quozart, Paul Rose fourth. And Loxwood for Darren Thompson was fifth.